Wow. Snap. Babies. The earth is in your hands. And she has entrusted you with her keeping. You know, in other words, you get to take care of her because she's taken care of you. Mother Earth loves you. She's a part of you. You're born of the Earth and of the sky too. But Earth is the part you neglect the most. You seem to think you have to conquer it or overcome it. Or in some way not be Earth, just be sky, fluff. And while all these elements, especially sky, have their value, the grounding of Earth, the bringing of yourself to the heart of this Mother Earth. And I'm going to tell you why here in a little bit, but the heart of this Mother Earth is very, very important. <laughs> nothing's critical because everything happens and it does it that way anyway so in other words nobody's forcing you to do this you don't have to believe anything or you know come along for the ride if you don't want to <laughs> you know it's just fine the way it is it's changing as we go and we're going home now back to the heart, the one heart in all. <laughs> the true heart that doesn't send little gnats and flies to bug you while you're doing videos. <laughs> but then again, maybe it does, just to make sure that, you know, you're paying attention to the earth energies, man. <laughs> you can't get too far away from them. They'll bite you on the ass. Because we are the earth energies. We are of the earth. It's our primary energy. It's our primal energy. It's what brings ascension. You see? We just have to learn how not to manage it, but to be it in the enlightened way. To remember what Earth is, our mother. <laughs> Mom, who always fixes you dinner and never lets you down, you know. And when you're feeling down, you know you can always go home for a recharge, baby. She loves you. You come back to the wilderness when you're feeling bad. And you leave there feeling good again, whether it's six years later or just a few minutes. Doesn't seem to matter. When you need the recharge, she's there and she's preserved enough of herself to allow this to be. Isn't that awesome? God. But then, you know, it's hard to drink a beverage out of a bottle with a cap on. Here's to you, babies. I put the cap on it to keep the dang flies out of it. They're bad. This year, they've started turning real early. You know, the flies have become real flies. I mean, God. <laughs> Sticky since mid-July, man. You know, well, they could be a whole lot more aggressive than what they are, but they're still a pain in the butt. But I understand. They're just trying to tell us something. They're hungry. They're desperate. Winter's coming early this year. Stock up on your firewood and stuff. Well, you do what you can do, you know. Grandpa, man, I'm telling you what. Working my ass off in this reality. <laughs> And not getting a long way for it. You know what I mean? Oh, shoot. By my age, I should be retired and, 
and sitting on top of a mountain somewhere and, you know, telling everybody how they should act and who they should be with and, you know, giving them enlightenment. Well, shit. I'm sorry to let you down, guys, but there ain't no top of the mountain available and, you know, dealing with practical reality, as we call it. Eh, never been good at it. But anyway, i got to do it. What else can I do? But I'm ready to get into the donut business anytime uh, the opportunity presents itself correctly. We got off to a sputtering start a while back. But, you know, this isn't what's happening. If it's not smooth and just rolling into place, it's not meant to be, you know. So, till then... I'm working my ass off driving truck, just, but I love you guys, and, you know, hell, if I can bring you a load of chilies, I'm tickled pink. <laughs> it's fun, you wouldn't believe it, you know? A hell of a lot of work, and nobody out there can imagine what it's like until you've come out here and done it, especially with old Grandpa, because I do it in my own sort of way, you know? It's a a job that has that nature to it. You can be a very contented slave because you can do it the way you feel like doing it within certain parameters. <laughs> Doesn't that remind you a bit of life? <laughs> you get some freedom, but, you know, how far do you go? <laughs> Trying to put the squeeze on us now, the kibosh, man, for years. You know, our federal government's in the in United States is, and most of the other Western governments in the world uh, been wanting to impose martial law upon their citizens and, you know, contain the parameters just a bit more. Uh, and, you know, we can't let them do it. But we don't resist in the streets fighting them. They're ready for that shit. That's their court. <laughs> we resist by loving them. Back into being human again. Because they are monsters. And they're incredible monsters with hearts empty enough that they know no limits in their treachery. They'd rob us blind, steal us shitless, and not give two hoots about it. We could all be living in hovels under a piece of sagebrush out there in the desert. And they could give two hoots about it, except we're not paying them anything when we're doing that. <laughs> we're taking care of their buddies and the corporations either, so maybe we should go live under the sagebrush for a while. I don't know. But hey, it's Grandpa Peter Coyote here from Crestone, Colorado, United States of America, the People's Republic of Democracy. Oh, my God, gone wild. <laughs> this is the place to be, babies, if you want to be where it's happening. But usually it happens to you, so it ain't always pleasant. <laughs> Keep that in mind before you smuggle your ass over the border, man, and pay the coyotes, you know, $10,000 to get you a, uh, where you can make three bucks an hour. I mean, come on, guys. Three bucks an hour here is like 10 cents where you are. You know, you're better off there for now. When we realize this oneness thing, and it's not too far off, I know it seems like it just could never happen. But when we do that, all this shit's out the window anyway, you know. There won't be divisions like there are now, and, and you won't have to worry about feeding your family or taking care of business with your people and, you know, making sure everybody stays alive and, and happy, fed. Mm -hmm clothed and housed and able to get around and visit one another and not have to work too hard to enjoy it. 
Well, shit, that's our natural state of being, guys. That's what hippie's all about. H-I-P-P-I-E, hippie. Happy, intelligent people pursuing infinite enlightenment. I know you've heard this from me before, but here you are, a little reminder. Happy, intelligent people pursuing infinite enlightenment. And you can find enlightenment at the bottom of a beer can. Just as easy as you can at a monastery or a stupa or a cathedral. Now think about that for a while. You know, how could I say such a challenging thing if it didn't come from my heart? Which, of course, it does. <laughs> Oh, heart's unraveling and revealing itself a bit, you know. It astounds me, you know. But I just let it be. I'm okay with it. It's a beautiful thing. And this heart is like sweeping us away, uh, taking us to that place in paradise where we rightfully be and where we truthfully exist and throughout all of this. It's the only way we could take it. We can feel separated from ourselves. And that can be so absolute as to prohibit you from going back to yourself. But the reality is you're never separated from that self which is real, which lives in that paradise place. Just some musings from the old grandpa here on a Saturday night. Well, I guess it's Tuesday night here, but to me it's Saturday. And hopefully tomorrow will be my Sunday and I get a chance to kick back before I have to go and roll down those old highways again and work for peanuts. Oh, I love it. Guys... I wouldn't be doing anything else except donuts. <laughs> and a little rock and roll. So I'm not here complaining. I'm happy with my station in life. And when it needs to change and move and grow, it will. It does. I don't have to worry about it. And neither should you. So... Forgive me if I burden you any with my whininess, you know. Can't help but be that way sometimes. We live in purity no matter what we feel or what we're expressing. It's all cool. And Grandpa and Angel Dog and the Wonder Dog, the Love Dog, well, we love you guys, too. And I'm working on some videos you're going to love, man. I, I, I don't know quite how to present them. I got the first hour and 50 minutes on tape already. so, And it's all strung together <laughs> in segments. You're going to love it, I think. So stay tuned here for... A little f more information as it's happening, but babies, and the gloves really are coming off, the shades, the disguise, <laughs> it's all fading away, baby, you know. There's only true reality, truth. And that's what we speak of, and that's what we're here to remind you of what's truthfully within your heart and help you awaken to it as we do too. No one's alone. Everyone's in it together. Yeah, including you. Me too. You. All of us. <laughs> in the temple of oneness. Om 
Ashe Mishambam. <laughs> hey, I love you guys. Take care. Grandpa Feeder Coyote wishing you a, a rock and roll reality into paradise.